welcome to Clifford's Fun with Sounds. Our story is called Clifford Goes to Hollywood. Just be a minute. You look fine. Wait. Oui. Now what's he up to? Well, what do you think? How do I look? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, well, just a second. Aha! How's this? On guard, Sir Diddlecumb Baskerville. Defend yourself. Take that. And that. And that. <laughs> Clifford, what are you doing? Wait, I know the perfect thing. Ah, the sun is setting. Soon Count Clifordio will be a big star. The sound of my voice will echo across the country. <laughs> Aren't you scared? Yes, I'm scared we'll be late for the tryouts. They don't want us to look like someone else, Clifford. They want us to look like ourselves. They do? Oh, then just a second. Come on, Emily. What are you waiting for? <laughs> That's my Clifford. Okay, people. I want everyone to pay attention. We have a lot to do this morning and a tight schedule. So I need your cooperation. Everyone who wants to try out for a part, over here. Oh, this is so exciting, Clifford. Listen to all the sounds. All right. I need some grandmothers with loud voices. Me! No! Okay, you're hired. And some grandmothers with soft-sounding voices. Me! Okay, you're hired too. Yay! I said soft. Yay! Much better. Now I need three little girls who sound happy. <laughs> Good. And two girls who sound sad. <laughs> Very good. You're all hired. Yay! That's great, Emily Elizabeth. Thanks, Clifford. I hope you get chosen. Me too. Nobody makes sounds like I do. Now I need a fierce watchdog. Let's hear you first. Not bad. Next. <laughs> I said a watch dog, not a watch squirrel. Anyone else? Me, me. Good luck, Clifford. Remember, be fierce. <laughs> Stop! Help! Cut! I think that's enough, Clifford. What was that? It sounded like an earthquake. That was my big red dog, Clifford. That's me. And that's not all. I can dance, too. Stop! Stop! Please! Stop! How'd I do? That's very good. But I said a watch dog, not a watch monster. We'll use the first dog. Sorry, Clifford. I thought you were very good. Boy, I really wanted to be in the movie. That's all I've been thinking about. I've been dreaming about it for weeks, for months, for years. I've been dreaming about it my whole life. We just heard about it yesterday, Clifford. We did? Well, I would have dreamed about it if I'd known. 
I'm very sorry you didn't get chosen, Clifford. But maybe you'll get another chance someday. Another chance? Yes, that's it. I'll be right back. Next, I need a sweet, fluffy cat with a nice, soft purr. That's good. Next. Terrific. Next. That's funny. That sounds more like a train than a cat. Now it sounds like a motorboat. Now it sounds like waves in an ocean. What's going on here? What kind of cat is that? Oh, I get it. It's him. Sorry, this is for real cats only. Cat number two, you're hired. Now we need a couple of canaries with high voices. Great. Any more? Oh, my ears! Look out! Oh, no! It's that dog again! We can't use you! Go away! Oh, boy. I guess I didn't do very well. There goes my film career. Clifford! Look at my costume, Clifford. Nice, huh? Yeah. I can't hear you. What's wrong, Clifford? Are you going to come watch me make the movie? No, I'm not interested in movies anymore. Clifford sure sounds disappointed, doesn't he? Sometimes you can tell by the sound of someone's voice how they feel. And Clifford sounds sad. I sure hope he'll feel better soon. Uh-oh, my watch alarm. I've got to get going. But before I do, here's some other sounds for all of you at home to listen to. Sounds are everywhere. Some words even make special sounds. See how many of these sounds you can recognize. Onomatopoeia, onomatopoeia. was a nice song, but I still feel sad. All right, people, quiet on the set. This is a take, so everyone get ready. I want you all to pretend it's starting to rain. Okay, George, turn on the tape recorder. Yo. Everyone pretend there's a big wind blowing. Oh, no, the machine's broken. Well, fix it. Quick! Oh, man, this thing's totaled. This won't be working for at least a week. A week? This is terrible. What are we gonna do? A disaster, a tragedy. I'm finished. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I know how you can make the wind sound. How? I'm ruined. Clifford can make that sound. Clifford? 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 What's that sound? Come on, Clifford. We need you. 
You're going to be a star after all. Or at least your voice is. A star? Okay, ready? Go! Make the wind sound now, Clifford! That's great! Great! More! Louder! I love it! I love it! It blows me away! Ah! Sensational, Clifford! You're the greatest! Fantastic! Good going, Clifford! Oh, shucks. That was nothing. Listen, Clifford, baby. Can you imitate the sound of big rocks rolling down a hill? It would really be a big help. Uh, I'm not sure. How does that sound? It sounds like something that hits and bounces and hits and bounces all at once. Right. And it gets louder and louder. I think I can. I better go way over there to start. Now, everyone pretend you're starting to hear something. Go, Clifford! Okay, get ready. It's a landslide! Run! <laughs> That's it! Sensational! Okay, stop! Clifford, I said stop! <laughs> ah! Where'd he go? That was great! Maybe we should do it again. No, that was fine. You're terrific, Clifford. I've never heard anything like it. Hey, why don't you come back to Hollywood with me? You'll be a star. Me? A star? Oh, boy, that's what I've always dreamed about. Let's go. You mean leave Emily Elizabeth and all my friends behind? That's true. But remember, you'll be a star. A star. I've always wanted to be a star. We can write letters to each other, and you can always visit. That's true. You can visit me, too. Hollywood, here I come. Things won't be the same around here without Clifford. I'm sure going to miss him. Here we are in Hollywood, city of the stars. On today's tour, we'll visit the most expensive stores. See the largest mansions. Walk the famous Avenue of the Stars, where your favorite celebrities leave their signatures in cement. We'll see fast sports cars. And the longest of all limousines. Yes, sir, ladies and gents, a place where even pets live lives of luxury. Yes, folks, these have been some of the sights and sounds of the City of Stars. We are now entering through the gates of the famous Mighty Mogul Movie Studio. And here we are at one of the many sets they use to make movies. Looks like they're shooting a western here today. Oh, ho! and look over there. This is really exciting. Those are the special chairs for the stars. Whoa. That's Clifford, the big red dog's chair. Hey, listen. I think I hear Clifford now. Come on. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Can I have your autograph? Hmm, certainly. Wow. Thanks, Clifford. Hey, no problem. Yo, Clifford, let's get to work. OK, JD. What's that sound? It's getting louder. It sounds like a cattle stampede. What's that rumbling sound? It sounds like an earthquake! Wait! Listen! There's another sound! Oh my gosh! It's the train! What's that crashing sound? Oh no! The bridge! It must have collapsed! We've got to warn the train! Okay! Cut! Great work, Clifford Baby! And this concludes our tour for today. Folks, I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Look, there's Clifford again. What a star. He must be the luckiest dog in the world. He's got a gigantic Hollywood house with a huge Hollywood pool. 
his picture in every paper. His diet strictly gourmet, and he sleeps in a custom-made, dog-bone-shaped, thermal-heated waterbed. He must be one very happy dog. Dear Clifford, we saw your latest movie. It was great. I'm glad you're doing so well, and I hope you're very happy. <sighs> and I wish I could see you again soon. I really miss you. Hmm. Happy? Of course I'm happy. I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy. Why shouldn't I be happy? I'm a star. I'm not lonely. I have everything I want. Things aren't the same anymore without Emily Elizabeth. I sure miss her. Hey, Clifford baby! Guess what? I've got great news! What is it? We're going back to your hometown to make another movie. We are back home? Hooray! Dear Emily Elizabeth, I have great news. We're coming home to make another movie. Hooray! Clifford's coming back. It'll be like old times. As soon as I see him, I'm going to give him a big kiss. I know. While we're waiting for Clifford to return, Let's all play a sound game. Listen to these sounds and guess what they are when you hear them. In the Dixie Land Band that I found, guess which instrument makes this sound? That's the drum and that's the sound of the cymbal ring and play the drums with the cymbal now. In the Dixie Land Band that I found, guess which instrument makes this sound? That's the tuba in the Dixie Land Band that I found. Guess which instrument makes this sound? That's the banjo in the Dixie Land Band that I found. Guess which instrument makes Play all the sounds together, see if you can hear Every instrument loud and clear Now that's the sound of applause That's right, give the players a hand Because when they play together They're a great Dixie Land should be here any minute. I can hardly wait. Come on, Clifford, hurry up. Oh, no. It's starting to cloud over. No, it's not. It's Clifford! <laughs> oh, Clifford, I'm so glad to see you again. I hope you can stay for a good long visit. I'm not staying for a visit, Emily Elizabeth. Oh? No, I'm staying for good. You are? I'm tired of being a movie star. I missed my home and my friends, and most of all, you. Oh, Clifford, that's wonderful. The town is having a parade with a band just for you. That's a band? It just sounds like noise to me. No, no. Those are the musicians getting warmed up. See? There's a trumpet, a trombone, a drum, a clarinet, the cymbals, tuba, and a saxophone. Boy, that band needs practice. It doesn't even sound like music. It isn't music until they all play a song together. Listen, now it's music. Uh-oh, I hear a siren. It must be a fire. No, it's not a fire, Clifford. A sound can mean more than one thing. See, that's the warning siren. The parade is starting. We'd better get ready. Oh, boy. I love parades, but I don't think I can stay awake. It was such a long trip home. 
Testing one, two, three. Can you hear me? No, it's too soft. <clears throat> How about now? Too loud. I better stand back further. How about now? Perfect. Thank you. I am, aren't I? That's why I'm the mayor. I better practice my speech. We are all here to bid welcome to... Whoops. Three cheers for Clifford! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Oh, and here's the movie director. Hi, folks! It's great to be back! And here comes Emily Elizabeth. So Clifford must be on his way. <laughs> Light the fireworks! Fire the cannon! Wait! Stop! W where's Clifford? Excuse me, Mr. Mayor. What is it, Emily Elizabeth? I'm sorry, but Clifford won't be coming to the parade. He doesn't want to be a movie star anymore. He just wants to stay home and be our friend again. Oh. Well, that's great news that Clifford's home to stay. But I guess I'll have to stop the parade. Uh oh It's too late. Oh, well, uh... I'll just have to be the guest of honor myself. I love a parade! I'm so happy that Clifford's come home. He's just my great big cuddly red dog again. What's that sound? Thunder? No, it's a beautiful day. What do you think it is? Wait, I know. There's only one thing that makes a sound like that. Now that's what I call sound asleep. Clifford, you make the most beautiful sounds I've ever heard. Did you ever stop and listen to the sounds around you? Try to figure out what certain sounds are and where they come from. Try it. It's fun. Goodbye.